overlaps, you know, really well with areas in the U.S. where we have that, you know, very interested Trek buyers today. So um, I, I think some people think this will be a need platform. I don't think so. You know, if I was Ford, who's, you know, they're already cutting the production shift at the F-150 Lightning plant in Detroit. You know, I, I'd see more trouble coming for them ahead as the Cybertruck rolls out. Yeah, well, you know, you all did a great job of covering the highlights. So let's talk about the details. Um, Tesla said that it doubled its AI training compute. Why does that matter? Because Tesla has this immense data advantage over peers when it comes to solving for robo taxis because it's using its customer cars to gather information. So now we think that Tesla is getting over 2 million miles in FSD, its full self-driving software per day. I mean, compare that to robo taxi peers. That's like half of what, you know, Cruise, GM's effort has gotten in its entire lifetime. Tesla is a prominent automotive enterprise that has established itself as a front runner in the realms of electric vehicles, autonomous driving and renewable energy among other areas. This company's remarkable achievements and future prospects are the subject of this video, wherein we aim to address pertinent inquiries and delve into the distinctive attributes that set Tesla apart from its competitors. Additionally, we will examine the challenges that lie ahead for Tesla in the market and the groundbreaking innovations it intends to introduce, such as the revolutionary Model 3, the futuristic Roadster, and the audacious SpaceX missions. Tesla is not only a corporation focused on automobile manufacturing, but rather a vanguard of societal advancement. Consequently, it is of interest to ascertain the perspective of ARK Invest regarding Tesla. What we're focused on is the long term. So I'm really excited to hear about their progress towards a, a future robo-taxi platform. Again, I think it'll be much more profitable than the electric vehicle business, and it'll totally change the business model. So uh, I'm looking forward to hearing more about that. I'm puzzled by that idea because with robo-taxis, I don't need to buy a car. Right, and so I, I'm not sure how profitable that, how, how are you modeling that and how soon do you need for it to uh, arrive for it to make sense the way you're modeling it? Yeah, so, you know, you, you may not need to buy a car. Basically, you know, we think incremental car buyers will might forego that decision, especially if you're located in an urban area. But, you know, it'll, it'll be a fleet model. So um, Tesla already has this uh, partnership and integration with Hertz. Um, you know, they, they talked a little about that in the letter, um, some of the, you know, app integration that they're doing this quarter. But I, I think in the future, you could imagine that Hertz could be a potential company that maybe, you know, houses and maintains these vehicles for customers. Um, ultimately, the, the reason that we think robo taxis are so exciting is because uh, ultimately they'll be priced, they could be priced uh, below uh, current ride hail prices. That'll expand the market for ride hail as we know it today. And um, we think this could be very profitable. So our estimate for, you know, our 2027 price target, which, which is uh, published, is that we think gross margins could be around 50%. So that, that's north of, you know, the, the around 20% that we're seeing today, of course, and that's really driven by the autonomy business. Um, we think this will be a services business model where they're charged per mile and they'll get very attractive margins on, on that business. Tasha Nitschke is an analyst at ARK Investment Management and one of the biggest Tesla bulls on Wall Street. She has been closely following Tesla and has said a lot about the company's potential and prospects in the past few months. In this video, Tasaki reiterates our invest position on Tesla and explains why legacy AO makers need to be careful not to lose market share to Tesla. But is she right? Does Tesla still have a strong position? In October 2023, Tasha Nagari wrote an article about why Tesla's potential is still bright. In it, she supported Tesla's performance and outlook even though Q3 results were disappointing and Elon Musk sounded cautious during these calls. Takasaki said that Tesla is still years ahead of the competition and that the Cybertruck, which will go on sale for the first time on November 30, 2018, will be a game changer for the EV market. The Tesla bull also said that Tesla has a lot of experience with difficult volume production ramps and that it can handle the problems that the Cybertruck will bring may face the Cybertrucks are made to shake up the pickup truck market, from their great towing capabilities to their roomy interiors. This electric powerhouse is going to improve speed and utility in a big way. Tesla's move into pickup trucks, the success of the Cybertruck is expected to spark a move towards electric vehicles, and it could push other automakers to speed up their plans for electric vehicles. Fans of cars are excited about the upcoming release of this truck, but it could also have a big effect on Tesla's stock performance. 
If the truck does well on the market, it could boost investor confidence. But before we go any further, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to stay up to date on everything Tesla is doing. Ours bet on Tesla isn't just based on the Cybertruck in 2023, September. Tash Nuri went on CNBC and said that robotaxis are where Tesla can make money. The analyst said that Tesla has a big advantage in autonomous driving because it has a lot of cars that all collect data and help the company's software get better. The analyst also said that there are early signs that autonomous driving is already safer than humans and that Tesla could get a big share of the global automobility market if it starts a robo-taxi service in addition to the EVS Cybertrue and robo-taxis. Tesla is also expanding into other bus businesses that work well with its main business of making automated vehicles and will bring in extra money. It has grown into the energy business and now sells products like power walls, power packs, and even solar roofs. All of these products let customers make, store, and use green energy for their homes or businesses. Tesla also wants to add new services, like the Tesla network, which will let people share their cars or use them as self-driving cabs. These businesses add to Tesla's value proposition and work well with its automated business. In the long run, these businesses will raise Tesla's value and, by extension, its stock price. In August, Keeney said that Tesla's stock sale was set up in a way that protected small investors. The ARK Invest analyst also said that Tesla has done something very interesting by making its stock available to the public. This shows that the company values its relationships with its customers and fans. She also said that the stock sale was a smart way to raise money and reduce debt without giving away too many shares. In July, Tasha Nagari tweeted about how much she thought Tesla shares would be worth in 2027 and gave three price targets based on her research. Spending on capital self-driving cars, there are revenue valuation multiples and expansion plans as well. According to recent news, Tesla wants to start expanding its factory in Gunhide in the first half of 2024. Representatives from the electric vehicle manufacturer have been watching a public debate about the plans. Factory tray will be ready to be updated and then a water recycling plant will be built. In the next few years, plans are also in the works for a second production hall and a battery recycling plant, among other things. It is said that Tesla wants to double production in Germany from 500,000 cars per year to 1 million cars per year. Brandenburg's Environment Ministry also says that the company wants to increase production of battery storage from 50 watt hours per year to 100 watt hours per year. Tesla has reached a level of production speed and scale that lets it cut costs and make more money. It has put a lot of money into building its own battery plants, like Gigafactories in Nevada, where it works with Panasonic to make its own battery cells. Tesla also controls most of the steps of its supply chain from design to delivery. This lets the car company make cars and depend less on outside suppliers. It also helps the company improve quality, speed, and efficiency. Tesla's production efficiency and size help it reach economies of scale and lower its battery costs, which are the main parts of EV costs. When production costs go down, Tesla can lower the prices of its own cars and used cars, making them more cheap. What do you think about Tasha's most recent comment about Tesla? Let us know below. And if you want to see more exciting Tesla news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.